Alright guys, so we got another video for you guys today here. Today we've got a news event going on in about 13 minutes, uh, a big one actually. We've got consumer price index, CPI, and this is going to measure the change in the price of goods or services including food and energy. This is an event, an economic event that launches at 8.30 here market time and it's got large impact on the market. It is, for me, untradeable. Um, we can look for trades after the fact, but what I like to do is I like to mark up some areas and levels to see if CPI can respect these areas and levels. Going forward throughout the day, we should get a few huge prints at the 8.30 mark in about 13 minutes, and we'll see if some of these levels that we've marked out get respected or disrespected, or we can figure out uh, some sort of directionality on the day for the market. All right, so we've got a few minutes here until the CPI drop, and I want to show you guys the daily chart here. I've got the daily chart marked out, and what I did, I simply marked my pivot highs, pivot lows. I've got this gap here on the daily, this gap here on the daily, and a weekly opening gap here from July 1st. This is where price action is currently trading around. Uh, we can see that we had some sweeps. We swept highs. We swept lows. I've got all of these levels marked out and I want to see how CPI reacts around these levels. I will break down to the hourly chart now and give you guys a little dive into the hourly. So here's our hourly chart before CPI. And what I want to see actually is I want to see some sweeps of these areas to possibly look for shorts, or I want to see a sweep of the 4470 to possibly look for longs. Price could also chew into these areas, 4439s. Those would be bigger targets if we do get shorts up here. They could also be longs to push price to the upside. Let's see what CPI gives us here. There's a little reaction right up in that 450875 area. Looks like we have some orders up there at that 4510 area sitting on the offer. That is likely a place that the markets want to go and going to want to go and take some liquidity up there. Uh, the book on the downside is going to be back down to 4500.25. We're going to have 338 contracts sitting there. Could be a pullback hold for a drive into the 4510s. Keeping a really good eye here on these 4,500.25s. Large contract sitting there, about 353. If price comes back, holds this area, we could possibly see the 41 or 4515s to the top side, which would be market liquidity pushing out of price right up in this area. Uh, in a perfect world here, we get this move down to the 4498. So that's going to pick up the 4500 order that's sitting here. It's also going to trap a lot of shorts, shake out a lot of weak longs off of this. Possibly see a move up into through high of day here. 4515s could be a target. Here's trading into this 4500.25. See if we can blip below that and reclaim that 45.0025. He's reloading into this area. Could be iceberging. Typically with these icebergs, what I want to see if he does get larger here is I want to see a wick below, reclaim. Here's the iceberg. If we can reclaim this, we're in for a potential long here. Stops are very tight on these trades. It's either going to work here and we're going to push above this iceberg at the 0025 or we're just going to fail here and take a small stop. Ideally, we want to hold this trade minimum to these 05s to see what the reaction is off this large lot. This could be market food where the price pushes up, takes liquidity here, passive shorts trying to get in, they get squeezed out and price pushes through, or we could wick over again fail and start trading below these 05s 
and target the 4,500 again. So here we are moving into the 05s. See what we can get through these guys. Uh, if we were bigger in this position at all, a few contracts or a handful of contracts, we'd be taking some off into the 05s. Uh, buyers try to give it a drive. There's just not a lot of umph behind their push right now. They need to really step on the gas here. There they go, giving it a little bit. Looking to sell it a strength here. Still no large orders popping in below on the bid. Getting back into these 0875s, which were these previous highs we were looking at before. And I'm going to take it off here. And that's going to be a CPI news event analysis, a trade, where we wanted to get the trade, how we executed. It was a small one. I don't often trade in the pre-market, but once we get trades like this, uh, I mean, they're hard to pass up. Typically, I'll just take them small size, one contract like you saw there, but we can lock up a few points going into the trading day. Anyways, guys, good luck on the charts. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate everything that you guys do for us to support the channel, and we'll chat with you guys soon.